Escabana, Michigan, Escabana, Michigan. All right, I want to stop at a bicycle shop and get some spokes. I have a one broken one broken spoke on the back tire that I just cannot ignore. They are open at nine or three miles north of here. And I'll wait, because it's before nine still. I'll wait. I'll sit in their parking lot. I just want to get out of the Walmart parking lot go sit in theirs and then move farther north to Gladstone <laughs> see what Gladstone is like There's uh, oh my god, somebody just threw glass on the road. I'm straddling that, okay. Yeah, the night was okay, it was peaceful and Wi-Fi was good. I didn't really need a lot of Wi-Fi, really. I actually didn't even watch any of the mo uh, the, t the videos that I downloaded. I just was down watching videos online. Apparently there's this new AI feature now that will summarize the video. I've been summarizing. I've been summarizing videos on my uh, just through a chat GPT and putting the summarizations in the description. But now go, uh, YouTube is offering summaries as a little extra feature that you just you gotta request that it be summarized. I'm putting the summary already in the in the description. And when I watch videos offline, the only option that you'll have is looking at the description. I won't be able to ask the video to be summarized while I'm watching it offline. So it's it's a little bit of a benefit, but you you need Wi-Fi connection for that. So I, I don't think I'll stop summarizing videos and putting it in the description because that's still a benefit for people who may watch offline like me. That's really neat. I like that. To summarize a video. That's that's uh, that's really gonna help help with uh, understanding what the video is about. Give you, you can ask questions about the video, <laughs> and AI will answer them and say, "Oh, okay, yeah, the answer is in this video," or, or they'll say the answer is not in the video. Like I watched a dude, um, Big Mike Audits. He just kind of re re uh, recorded uh, a statue in Mackinac, Michigan, and I asked, "Where is that statue?" And the AI said it's not, it, uh, Mike didn't say where it was, but uh, uh, Mike, Mike did say that I could check a website to find out where that statue is. So the, the AI was smart enough to at least give me some partial answer. It was able to confirm that there was no definite answer, but that... Uh, you know, it's advised to check the... Do I gotta take a right to take a left? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I gotta take a right to take a left. Wow. Uh, is that gonna work? Couldn't I? All right, so I may not have needed to do that to do this, but I don't know any better. Sheriff's department's not too far away either, so they're in and out of their sheriff. The de deputies are in and out of their sheriff's department. Turn left at the stop sign. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I could have just taken a left, I think. Garmin's really screwy. I could have just taken a left. But no. Oh my god. Uh Oh, that guy's at the stop sign. That guy's turning. Okay, it's not it doesn't look too incredibly busy. So I didn't need to do this. I didn't need to do this. That's an extra step that was not needed. Okay, why? Okay, so there's supposed to be a bicycle shop. Don't tell me it's right. <laughs> okay. What? Then take the first right. How are we missing the the? the place I'm entering college how am I missing the bicycle shop I thought it was kind of a turn in like this Garmin is screwed up I typed in the address and uh, okay I gotta confirm that I gotta look at Google, Gmail and see how far away I am even turn this off huh that's stupid I thought I turned the camera off so Garmin when I put in that address Garmin still has me a half a mile away and I might have to get back on the highway what's this dirt road there's some kind of road but it's not tracks is it the road for it just goes straight it doesn't say you can't drive on it it doesn't discourage me from driving on it. Ooh, it is. Ooh, this is not. This is not a road. I mean, what kind of road is this? If it, if there's a really bad spot, then I'm gonna need to turn around. So far, it actually looks like it's kind of manageable next to the train track. Normally, I don't think that they, the, the train company encourages people to drive right next to their tracks like this. Oh man, if Garmin wouldn't have screwed, screwed with me here and given the wrong address, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be taking this road. Ooh. There's some real dips. This is like a freaking ATV trail more than a road. But it, it oh man, that is curved. But it, it has turnouts to go to places. And all right, my blue dot is following. I got a half of a mile. Wow, what a treacherous road. Um, I'm still. Why does this road exist? Now it gets really bad. Okay, I'm, I'm getting closer to tractor supply. Why don't I just, why don't I just hang out here? I don't need to park right next to that stupid bicycle shop. I can walk over. I'll walk over instead and just hang out in this hotel parking lot. So I got, I got a half hour wait. I'll get, I can pick up a tractor supply Wi-Fi from here most likely. Oh my god. I'm not going for it because that trail gets much, looks much worse further down. Just do this. Alright, I got some spokes, walked over to the bicycle shop. Now I guess I'm going to just slip over from the motel to Tractor Central's parking lot. Just across the, the grass no problems uh, it doesn't look like I can really take a left at the end here I'd have to take a right so I'm gonna
cut across the parking lot further see if there's any stoplights on the other end I don't really see anything uh-oh and there might not be anything actually oh no uh, oh no no nope there's there's nothing there's certainly nothing okay so I have to take a right well uh did that back road ain't too bad actually uh that back road ain't looking too bad now uh but uh access to it i uh, need to go back into the hotel i think what is this back road all about man what a weird setup but i mean it's practice i saw that rental truck go through so now I'm going to be, well, I'll just say I'm a little disappointed that I have to do this, but uh, I did walk it and I felt confident, well, somewhat confident walking it. Uh, yeah, I am just going to scrape some grass. Ah, uh, this, this is a little, yeah, they were scraping. Oh man, am I sliding. Uh, you know, I should probably not be doing this. This is for taller vehicles. I could be sucking in sand through the, the air intake. I could be getting stuck. This is very loose looking throughout here. I'm doing okay. I'm not sliding. I'm doing okay. I'm surviving. It might get better towards the end. Uh, I'm looking to the right. I don't see any uh, stoplight setups. Nope, no stoplights, no turns. <clears throat> hmm. It's maintaining its consistency. It's maintaining good consistency here. I'm hitting things, I guess. The road's smooth, a little bit of a dip up there, get around it, just straddling the grass. I think a road, oh, oh, it was a little deep. There's maybe a, no, I don't see any road up ahead. Really scraping, I'm, I'm, my air intake is taking in vegetation and sand right now. Uh, there are, this is a turnout here, but uh, I'll have to take a right. Oh, well, okay, here we go. Improvements. This is much better. So I survived that patch. Oh, no, it's not much better. Now I gotta deal with more potholes. Oh, jeez. Oh, slow it down. Just stay less than 10. I hope this is good progress, at least, taking this. There's a road. Uh, I don't know. Can we... Where is that road? A FedEx truck is turning down it. Stop sign. I can't... Looks like I can take a, a left. Nope, I cannot. I can... I cannot take a left. There's no stoplights. I cannot take a left. How far does this road go, then? I have to take a right? I don't want to take a right. I mean, so I guess, oh my God, what dips. All right, less than 10. Yeah, the road is, this is, this is supposed to be a road too. The back road and uh, I'll, uh, Maybe come up upon another road up ahead and it might have a stoplight for taking laps. They almost, they might be encouraging U-turns though on that whole highway structure. Why would they have stoplights, you know? That's like a highway. So I'm taking another look. I just ran over a rock and it shifted my steering wheel a little bit. I felt that one. I think I'm in camping world behind camping world got all those campers 
Camping World, yep, I see the logo. Hmm. <clears throat> wow, this just keeps going. I'm very, I'm moving so slow that since I'm making such slow progress, it feels longer than it is. This is a walking pace. Oh, oh, maybe the crossover is there. Okay, I think I'm coming up upon another road and a uh, chance for taking a left. Uh, I think this is a factory up here. I got to get past this factory, blowing out a ton of smoke. Oh no! Uh, it doesn't look like it would be having a right, a right turn anywhere. Nope, nope, I'd have to take a left. I gotta look at the map. Hmm. Alright, so apparently I just gotta go down to this next road. And then I could take a left. It seems like there's a lot of curves in between the, the highway roads. Uh, showing that they encourage people to, to do uh, U-turns. But not at this upcoming road. It uh, goes straight through so I could take an immediate left. So, I want to see that. It's actually slightly curved to discourage making a left, I think. But, I mean, I could get into that lane. That's what I, how I got into the previous. Okay, so this railroad track is clearly abandoned. These cars are actually permanently on the tracks. Okay, here we go. Turn right only. Oh, they don't want people to go through. So I came all this way, down all this way for nothing. So you discourage that right, that left. Oh man, I don't have to go too far, I guess. What a screwy setup. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a U-turn then. Delta County Road Commission, District One. Okay, yeah, Garmin recognizes the U-turn. So I should have made the U-turn here. Escanaba city limit, right outside the city limit. Okay, U turn. Something slammed. And then it'll be a right, so. Okay, I hope I didn't uh, ruin the car too much going over all that dirt and grass. It's 55. They want to keep the road smooth running as much as possible and U-turns is their solution. Oh, waterfall, okay. Looking at a, a dam on the left. Train crossing under a train bridge. Uh, over a river. Did I come on this road? Coming down to Escanaba? I might be uh, uh, returning on the same road I I think I've been on this road. There's a there's a chance.
Oh, it's pretty neat. All right, Lake Michigan on the right, big hillside on the left. We got 1.7 miles. LK Bluff Road. They got a trail for bicycles on the right. It's kind of a low-lying, it's kind of a shallow water because they got weeds that go far out into the water. Three kids running on this trail, that's crazy. I don't know if that's a good idea. Just because it exists doesn't mean you should take it in that way. That's that's a rarity to see kids. Oh, there's a, somewhere to sit. It's a rarity. Oh, there's somebody else running or walking. Now they want to cross, turn around. Some old old guy. Well, okay. I got 0.3 miles for a right. Gladstone Recreation Area. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to the beach. Hey, this is tough. Wow, is this a one way? It doesn't look like cars come back the other way. Come back towards me. Turn right on South 13th Street. Okay. Gas station. McDonald's and Mobile. They have to stop. State police ahead. Whoa. Now that's alarming. That was a train. 35. Okay. What the heck? State Patrol's got something on its hood. Welcome to Gladstone. Year-round playgrounds. Okay. Big, pretty wide bicycle trail. I see the checkered flag. National Guard. That might be where the State Patrol is. Coming in and out of their headquarters. All right, getting into some neighborhood, drop to 25. I'm at 600 elevation, right on 13th. No parking, okay. Lake Shore Lookouts. I see the park. South 13th Street. Finding shade is not important today. Okay, I could turn here. Why don't I just turn here? Uh, let's see, no parking, okay, yes. Just anywhere around here it works. Far away from the playground. This is an exercise area. I think the very end. And I kind of want to back in actually. I could even park here. All right. Well, I'll just pull in then. Whatever. Gladstone. Gladstone. All right. I have somewhat of a good idea on where to go I spent the day here just hanging out got busy this parking lot like filled up at times oh what a rough engine rough idle rough dying rough out of first gear 
Yeah, it's pretty relaxed. Weather's decent. I want to go to the grocery store. I bicycle to the library a little bit. I don't know why the pedals feel weird. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh! Now, things feel a little weird. Okay, I'm kind of basing my drive off of memory. I'm somewhat confident. Yeah, I just stay on this road and I'll see the grocery store on my right. I bicycled out to this grocery store and saw that I, I'd like to park behind it on the side of the road. Yeah, we got a uh, big harbor. Apparently, this harbor area's got Wi-Fi. I picked up, but I didn't stick around long enough to really get it. It just kind of, I acknowledge that it's harbor Wi-Fi, but I don't know if it really works. There are yacht clubs and all that. There's a baseball game going on on the side of the the lake it's pretty pretty nice i mean for the weather the way it is right now it's pretty nice because it could get hot and muggy and the moisture can be pretty tough to deal with but it's not bad at, at a cooler temperature 25 through here okay. oh all right i'm like i was looking for elevation but i'm not i don't have directions here so I'm not getting that elevation. I don't know why Garmin's got to do that to me. <clears throat> Instead it says 823. All right, that's correct. My atomic clock's still up behind by an hour. I'm in the Eastern time zone. I'd switched the time on my atomic clock, but then it just switched us right back. But as I get a little further east, maybe it'll come around better. Maybe it'll acknowledge Maybe I need to change the time zone. I don't know. I got one tablet and and then the the atomic clock that are behind by, behind an hour. Very tail. We're at the very tail end of the eastern time zone. Okay, I want to go through... Actually, I don't need to, though. Ah, uh, well... Uh, yeah, I could have write it there. Darn it. Okay, well, I can go through the grocery store. I want to come... The grocery store closes at 10. I want to go in for some good bread, if they got any. I want to check that out, because I'm not, I'm not going to sit around until 7. I don't think I want to sit around until 7. And wait... Alright, those guys look like they want it more than me. Sit around until 7. I don't know about that. 10 o'clock is a good closing time for a small town. Alright, I uh, I saw this little spot over here. It, this grocery store has Wi-Fi, but I don't think I'll pick it up in the grass. But I want to park up on the side of the road. It says no semi-trucks, which give me a good impression that the semi-trucks want to park here. I certainly want to park here. They're not they're not discouraging me. Maybe I'll just turn around here in this intersection. Just turn around and and uh yeah. There's housing and I want to be a distance away from the housing and kind of a distance away from the grocery store. If I absolutely need Wi-Fi, I can get out of the car and just walk over. Okay, maybe like, like, like here. Okay, I'm hitting the curb. All right. Hey, dude. What, what's up? Find somewhere else to park. Why? What's the problem? Parking zone. I saw I saw people all over on yeah, the sides of the roads over there. Right here, the truck zone right here. Truck zone? Yeah, I saw a truck, but I mean, I thought that would be okay for cars. It says no semi-trucks. Yeah, there's a lot of places in town you're welcome to park. 
What's the what's the regulation on the parking? Because I mean, I see people yep. parked on the side of the yep. road. So are you pick, are you just gonna get go after those guys too? No, this just this you've never we've never seen anybody park here because it was mostly okay. trucks in the morning. So yeah. the trucks in the yeah. morning. Yeah. Well, they're like, here now. I'm just telling I, you, in the morning, the big semi trucks or the yeah. lumber. This is a lumber company here. Yeah, they come and make their deliveries. I couldn't see them in the way. I mean, I'm, I'm not next to. I'm just the, the driveway. Listen to what, listen Wake you up when you're yeah, I don't think you will. That's the thing. I don't think you will. It's just something to look busy. But you're saying you're well, basing that no, on no, possibly no, no. them finally. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You're basing that possibly on them making right. the call. Yeah. And I, I think that the chances. I mean, I could back up a little bit. And then yeah, I you just be closer to the turn. That's all. No, so then that could I be. I tell you what. You stay there. Take care. Chill. Yeah, if but the, if I have if to wake biggest, you up, okay, yeah. I gotta wake you up. I understand. If the biggest threat is is the activity. I just don't want to see the trucks have to not get by if there's two of them. And I like I like to hear that that's the type of activity that I need, need to be most concerned oh, about. No, they're not, it's pretty cool around here. Yeah, they're yeah. not crying or yeah. do anything like no, that. No, we've got a good little town here. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Just hanging out uh, along the shore today. Beautiful. Checked out the library. Yeah, today was <laughs> especially in the morning. Oh, of course. There's, there's been some muggy days. Oh, for sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the next, the next week. Weather. Well, you enjoy your oh. trip up to Unison because that's beautiful too. Yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Up there. So All right, sir. Okay, okay. Have a good night. Okay. All right. Jesus fucking Christ.
Oh, we're off. Or we're on.